Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a very beginner friendly, very easy formula that we are making today. And it is our oil to milk makeup removing cleanser. It's so easy to make because we have a bunch of carrier oils and then we have some water and oil emulsifiers. This is so simple and so necessary. The first ingredient that we'll be adding is fractionated coconut oil. We will be adding 20% of this and we're adding it because of its light texture. It's very clear, it's odorless, it's non-greasy, and it's easily absorbed by the skin. Overall, I really just love the way that this, um, this oil feels on the skin. It makes the product so much more pleasant to use. The next ingredient that we will be adding to our formula is sweet almond oil. We'll be adding 25% of this. We added this oil because it's easy, it's easily able to penetrate the skin. It softens skin, it moisturizes, and it's known to be soothing to dry and itchy skin. You're going to see me pouring with my pipette. I learned this technique while going through school, and I do this technique in every of uh, every one of my um, formulas it allows for more control and I love doing this because it makes less of a mess next up we have safflower oil and we're adding this ingredient because it's rich in essential fatty acids it's high in vitamin E it's light in color, so it makes it very easy to incorporate into formulas. It's considered a non-comedogenic, so it does not clog the pores. And it has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, which is always a good addition. And in this experiment, we'll be adding 36.5%. The next ingredient that we will be adding to our formula is castor oil. Castor oil is an excellent emollient because it has a low molecular weight, which means, again, it's easily able to penetrate the skin. And it's also a purging oil, which means that adding it to this formula would intensify the cleansing properties. And lastly, um, its fatty acids promote cell regeneration, which is excellent for those individuals that have hyperpigmentation. Now that we're done adding all of our carrier oils, we can move on to our emulsifiers. We'll be using water and oil emulsifiers today because our um, product is predominantly made out of oils. The first water and oil emulsifier we are going to be using is Laurel 3. It is one of two water and oil emulsifiers that we're going to use today. It's able to solubilize in oils, and this is what's going to help us attain that milky consistency that we will see after washing off the product. Its suggested usage rate is from 1 to 5%, so we will be using it at 5% to have its maximum efficiency. The next ingredient that we will be adding is our second and last emulsifier. It is going to be used at 3%. Uh, the typical usage rate is from 0.5 to 3%. And for maximum efficiency, we're going to be using it at 3%. Again, this is just going to help us achieve that milky consistency that we want when we take off the product. It's going to go on. Um, very oily, but it's going to come off very milky very easily, and that's because of these two emulsifiers. Next up, we have vitamin E. Vitamin E oil is known to be an antioxidant. It's going to help preserve that um, the oils. It's not a preservative, but it's going to assist with making sure that our product doesn't go rancid too quickly. In this formulation today, we're going to be adding it at 0.5% and we're going to be adding it at 0.5% because this is a wash off product and vitamin E is a bit expensive. After we have finished adding all of our ingredients, we are going to um, mix it all up together to make sure that it is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous just meaning um, one even consistency. Uh, you can't tell the difference between one oil or the next. And to achieve this, we are going to be using this attachment, which is also able to froth milk, but I use it in my lab. 
This attachment came with my immersion blender. After mixing it, I noticed that there were still some particulates from the uh, glycerol oleate, so I heated it up to make sure everything was melted. And then again, I mixed it with that same attachment, and now stuff is getting everywhere. Okay, so we have mixed everything together. It's a homogeneous mixture, and now we need to put it in a bottle to use for later. And the bottle that I chose is this one. I have this little funnel um, that I got with a flask, and now I just use it in the lab because it's very easy to use. And then you are going to see me um, lift it up a little bit to make sure that it aerates and that the liquid goes down. But I made a mistake and I dripped oil everywhere. So I chose this little attachment or this, this pumper so that I don't necessarily have to go back into the bottle. Like I wouldn't have to open it and it dispenses just the right amount. So like if I squirt like three at, like it, it just, it just dispenses very well. I like the way that it dispenses and I don't have to open it again. So that means I won't get any contaminants in there. Um, considering I didn't use a preservative, that's very important because the, um, addition of any water particles may cause some bacterial growth, which is not what we want. And then looky how cute. I love this dispenser and the bottle that it's in. So we've come to the portion of the evening where I am going to demonstrate. I'm taking off my makeup here. I did not really want to take off my makeup because I really like this look. But for demonstration purposes, I'm taking off all my makeup. It's going on very oily, which is what we want. We want to have that oil remove the makeup very easily. Okay, so now I'm done rubbing the product in. I'm removing the product and all my makeup with the water. I got the water everywhere and I was making a complete mess. The floor was drenched. Um, I typically would do this in the shower, but for demonstration purposes, I did it at the sink. Okay, so after I finished waterboarding myself, I wanted to make sure that you guys could see what the product was really able to do. So initially what I was going to do was just let myself talk, but after um, all that water, um, I decided that I was not going to do that because I was breathing hard as hell. I got a clean white towel and I'm ready to remove the water from my face in the concentrated regions. I'm going to exclude my hairline. I did get a little bit of my um, hairline while I was removing the product, um, which you will see there is a little bit of makeup left on the white towel. Um, and that's for my hairline. But I think overall the product did such a good job removing the makeup. Um, I'm only really able to get my hairline in the shower. So when I do take a shower, you will, or <laughs> you won't see it, but that's when I'm really able to remove the makeup from my hairline. But for right now in the concentrated regions, I'm really like pleased with the way that this product performed. If I was to redo this experiment again, I would make three changes. I would add a oil that makes it special. So like maybe an expensive oil like blueberry seed oil, sea buckthorn oil or rose hip oil, one of those oils to really make it pop. Uh, the goal is to make your product special and those are oils that I think are kind of expensive, but also make your product stand out. The second thing that I would change would be to add a hydrolyzed protein of some sort, but I would advise that if you add a hydrolyzed protein, you also need to add a preservative. So I would advise um, users to add in an oil-based preservative. Um, the one that I commonly use is Opt uh, yeah, is Optivin, um, but that is a paraben and uh, parabens have a bad name. So if you want to, I don't use, I don't use Optifin in my own products, but um, uh, it's something that I have on hand. So Optifin is an easy one to reach for. Um, it's fairly inexpensive, easy to get your hands on. So yes, Optifin. And the third thing that I would change is I would add a scent of some sort, something refreshing like uh, eucalyptus or peppermint. 
um, those scents to me make it more make the product more pleasant to use so I would add those ingredients to my product to make it special this was pretty much just a baseline so if you wanted to alter this experiment or alter your product to um, fit more of your skin type you definitely could I made it very easy to just change a bunch of your carrier oils or add some more special oils if you will thank you so much for joining me today if you enjoyed this please subscribe and here are all the ways i can be reached